What you guys got another video here for you on how to recover Windows 10 to a working state before it was broken. Now, if you've broken your operating system and you have this software installed, you'll be able to recover your operating system very quick and easily and be up and running in no time at all. The good thing about this software is that it can also rescue your system if you've been hit with malware and things like that. So Instant Restore, and that's restore the system to any snapshot within seconds. Disaster Recovery, restore files and folders from any snapshot or crash system state. Instant Snapshots, take a snapshot of the system within seconds. No reboot is required. Rollback RX Pro, or you've got Rollback RX Home, and you've got Rollback RX Server. Now, the Rollback RX Home is free, and it allows you to uh, have support for uh, VMware support also sub console access and you can have a maximum of seven snapshots for the free version the pro version gives you a lot more you can make uh unlimited snapshots and also you get multiple drive support access control and data security task scheduler and also you got remote management and also some other options available there so this is rollback rx pro we'll take a quick look at this now, this is great for kids' machines if they always get infected and you just want to quickly roll back. You can do that in this system. Very simple and easy to do. This is the interface you can see here on the home screen. I've got a total of three snapshots. The last snapshot, time and date. And also, you can see here the free space I've got available. You've got rollback computer. This will roll back the computer after a simple reboot. Your entire system will roll back to a previous time state of your choice basically and you've got a new snapshot here this is where you can create snapshots of your system so you can see limited here to 16 characters you can go in here and put for instance software install so if you're installing some software and you want a bit of added security you could literally put that into here and you could give the description a name of say before software installation or before software install and you can lock that snapshot to prevent it from automatic deletion click on next and it will then create your snapshot so if you needed to roll back if something goes wrong you can do that by using the instant restore uh, section which is here you've got the uh, computer rollback which is here you've got recover files so you can recover files from those snapshots and you can also explore those snapshots so let's click on the explore snapshots first you can see installation, which is your baseline installation, and that's locked. And also you've got a bunch of other ones here, which is your scheduled snapshots and some other ones which I've created myself. You can say, for instance, uh, create a snapshot before you was doing something and then you got infected. You could roll straight back and all that malware will be removed from your system. This will then create a virtual uh, disk here. So you could then look inside that snapshot and pull the files out that you wanted to uh, get back. So for instance, you can see here, removable disk, this is the snapshot which is there. So let me click on there and go into this remove removable disk. This will be where all your files are. You can pull the files out and recover those files. That is the uh, explore snapshot. So let's uh, click on cancel here and close this off. This will be your baseline. This will be the very first snapshot it takes of your system and that will be locked by default. So there are the other snapshots here. So let me close that off. And again, recover files is going to be the same sort of thing. You can recover files here and put in uh, a name of the file that you want to recover, and it will try to find that file. So for instance, I know what the name is that I want to recover. So if you know the name and the extension, you can put that here. You can also, I know the file type. Example, search all files with dot doc. And you see there, star dot doc, and that will find all the files uh, that are named with that extension and again if that's if you don't know the name of the file but let's just quickly do one of these here so if you know the location of that file again you can put the location in here like this by putting the radio button in and do a search for that so let's do a quick search for a file called test.jpg and i'm going to do next here and it will do a search for that file in the snapshot where you created it so I put it in this very last snapshot here. I'm going to do a search for that particular file. And if I needed to recover that file very quickly because I've now rolled back and I want to get that file back, there it is right there. I can then 
recover this file very quick and easy, just like that. And it's very simple and easy to do. So let me just let that finish off here. And there we are. So I can right click here and recover this and save as and put this onto a drive where I want to or place where I want to save it. And again, if you want to just open it and view it, you can also do that as well with this particular file. All you need to do here is click on open and it will show you the file that you've just recovered. Now, this could be precious documents that you've just lost or whatever it is that you want to try to recover. We'll take a look at the rollback computer a little bit later. Just want to show you some other things on this piece of software. So this is the actual snapshots we got on the system. You can defragment uh, those snapshots. Sometimes they get a little bit uh, fragmented. You can defrag them. You can create a new one here by just putting in some information here, which I've shown you already. And again, you've got some tools here which will allow you to lock certain ones if you want to keep them, unlock them, delete them, and delete all unlocked, and so on. Explore rollback and properties in there. You can also got the uh, tree view and a bunch of other options here and some filters that you can set up here. You've got your calendar up on here and the time on here. So when you click these, it will change when you uh, did that particular type of snapshot and the clock will change and also the date and the calendar will change and stuff like that. Okay, so let's move on to task schedule here. Basically, you can create a uh, scheduled task for um, your particular snapshot. So for instance, give it a name and you can do task type and also uh, schedule type and then basically put the time and date in here and roll back settings and set that all up. And you can see here, what about other snapshots? So you can set all that up yourself if you want to. Moving on down to the event logs, these are all the event logs for what's actually happening with the software and what it's doing to the system. You can uh, clear all those, delete them and save them. Moving on to the tool section here, you can enable access control. If you want to do that, you can do this and you can add more people in there. Also system security. This will be a place where you can add an encryption to the snapshot as well. If you want to encrypt your snapshots, you can do that by applying it in this area here and that will be very useful to some people. Again, snapshot defragmenter. This is gonna allow you to defragment uh, the snapshots as well, if that's what you wish to do there. Moving on down to kernel mode, we have kernel mode here, and also a very last one up the top here. Let's just take a look at this one here. This is the settings window, and this will allow you to change the language and also program appearance advanced settings and also remote management and things like that. So the program appearance will be allowed to make adjustments here. These are the advanced settings here. If you want to make some changes inside here, like the keep no more than so many snapshots, you can change that setting here, uh, free up space below. So, so many megabytes after deleting uh, four snapshots and so on, so on. You can make loads of changes inside here. It's pretty self-explanatory stuff uh, for you to have a look at there. Also remote management. This is in case you want to remote in and uh, have a look at those snapshots and control uh, that system from a remote connection. You can do that if you want to set that all up here. You'd have to put in the server and also some other information in here so you can connect on to that system. Okay, so we've covered everything apart from rollback computer. So let's take a look at the rollback computer feature here. This is what the main feature of this uh, software is. So what you can do if you're having issues with your computer and you want to roll back to a time when it was working correctly, you can choose a snapshot of your choice and then basically roll back to that snapshot when it was working correctly. You can read the warning message here, basically gives you a bunch of information and uh, you can then follow the sequence here. And what it will do is it will roll back the PC back to that time. It's going to roll back to uh, WinBest, which is the one I created here. So it's going to restart the system and then you'll see a window popping up here. It says press home key to roll back the computer and you should start seeing a message on there that says loading snapshot and it will load the snapshot up that we chose in that software before we rebooted the computer and this will uh, load up that snapshot which was working at the time before something happened to your PC, maybe a driver install and it says you have just rolled back your computer to an earlier time and hopefully that uh, time you've rolled your PC back to was a working state where it was all working properly. And you can now use the recovery wizard to recover any sort of lost files that you have got on other 
uh, snapshots that you've got there with the way I showed you. Very simple and easy to do. Very useful bit of software for people that are always having problems with their PC so where they can quickly roll back and get back to a working state very quickly and then recover their data. So pretty decent bit of software. And this sort of software will be used with administrators and some sort of teaching uh, classes where they can roll back the computers to a working state after the students have finished. So any sort of problems or tinkering that they've done to that PC, all of that will be reset to a working state. And that's basically how they stay uh, malware free and stop those PCs from getting broken. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. A big thank you to all the YouTube members that have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate it. And uh, thanks again for the continued support. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.